Hi, uh, here's an interesting case from the emergency room. A patient presenting with abdominal pain. Uh, as we scroll through the abdomen, we start to see just beneath the diaphragm there is free fluid around the liver and the spleen. And as we come down, the gallbladder is out. Uh, the common bile duct is a little prominent, but that's to be expected in someone who's undergone cholecystectomy. Uh, as we get further down the abdomen, we start to see some fairly impressive edema in the mesentery. That's all this haziness over here. Uh, and some thickening of the small bowel wall to the point that it has a target or bullseye appearance in cross section. And this involves a longish segment of the small bowel. Uh, in its mid portion. And then when we look a little bit closer, we see another interesting finding, which is that the superior mesenteric vein has a large filling defect in it, which completely occludes the vein in some portions of it. So putting the findings together, we have uh, ischemic bowel as a result of superior mesenteric pain thrombosis. And the finding is nicely seen on the reformats as well. These are the uh, coronal nips. You can see the filling effect very clearly here within the superior mesenteric vein and on the sagittal reformats as well. There it is. So, uh, Sometimes the reformats are helpful. As you can see, the finding is much more striking on the reformats than it was on the axials where one is liable to scroll through it. So uh, one of the learning points in this case is that the tubular structures that run uh, in, the, uh, in the plane of the long axis of the body, uh, the reformats are particularly helpful because when you see things in cross-section, uh, when scrolling through, you may just buy them. So uh, always remember to look at reformats when looking at CTs of the abdomen and pelvis. Thank you.